brothers. One brave and bold. The other, not so much. Woo! Courtney, will you make funny faces to entertain me? <laughs> <laughs> no! Never triangle face. I hate triangle face. It scares me. Your brother is about to embark on a quest. The evil wizard Lazar has taken my love. You must journey with your brother to rescue his bride. Can I sleep on it? Your Highness was nothing to bow down to. And if you can believe it, James Franco's performance in this movie was even worse than his Oscar hosting. Even the gorgeous dames Natalie Portman and Zoe Deschanel could not save it. I went to this movie at a free screening. Free, I tell you, and the two people next to me left the theater after the first 40 minutes. I just could not figure it out. Why wasn't it funny? All the punchlines were there, all the dick, fart, gay jokes, and funny medieval talk was there, but it was not funny. Then it hit me. Some people cannot be main characters. They are always meant to be sidekicks. And I fear that lead actor and comedian Danny McBride suffers from Rob Schneiderism. Amazing as a sidekick, like in Pineapple Express and Tropic Thunder, but horrible as a lead in Your Highness. The story follows a traditional tale of a prince rescuing a damsel in distress, but with a twist of sibling rivalry. The damsel in distress, Zoe Deschanel, is a virgin captured by an evil wizard so that he can impregnate her in order to make an evil dragon and rule the land. Soon the two brothers, lazy and self-absorbed Thaddeus McBride, and heroic Fa Fabius, played by James Franco, must quest together. They are soon betrayed by the knights Fabius trusted and run into the sexy and vengeful Isabel, played by Portman. Though her story about avenging the slaughtering of her family is somewhat hilarious, and her character did make me chuckle, twasn't enough to hold my interest, my ladies and gents. As if you cannot rest until you destroy those who harmed your family. You need to skin them alive, and then wear their flesh as a cape as you dance around their convulsing corpses. Yes, of course. Yes. 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 Sometimes a comedy tries too hard to be funny. Sometimes a big budget and A-list actors does not get the job done. At best, this movie is great for immature high school boys, and who knows, maybe I just was not in the right demographic for this movie. What did you think of the movie? I thought it was just awful. Yeah, it was, I mean, I didn't think it was like horrible, you know, like worst idea ever, but I thought it was just really weird and and not as funny. It, I, I wasn't. I was really excited to watch the movie, and it wasn't as great as I, you know. It wasn't that's what the I thing. Was it was. It was a huge disappointment yeah, because when I found out, I, when I was like, "Oh, I'm going to review Your Highness. That's so awesome!" And I came in, yeah. and then I was like, "Okay, okay." <laughs> now they're beating off a puppet. You know, I just <laughs> didn't understand why half of that movie was necessary. Of course, it is a comedy. Right. I, I understand sometimes they're just doing it yeah. to do it, but. It really wasn't funny, and like you said, it was weird. Mm -hmm. That movie was just yeah, weird. Yeah, it was, I mean, the, like, the puppet part and, like, the erect minotaur or whatever, it's, some things were just so dirty, it was unnecessary, and then you're just like, what? Like, And I don't think it's because we're girls. As some people no. might say, like, oh, No, because well, that, you know, like, Super Bad and Forgetting Sarah Marshall and all those were funny, and they had penises yeah. and And I loved everything. it. Exactly, it was hilarious, yeah. but. And I just, one, I, I think. I stand by what I said. It tried too hard to be funny. It mm -hmm. was trying too hard to push these jokes, and mm -hmm. it just wasn't good. And I really didn't think James Franco was good at all. No, no, he was um, beautiful because of his long, well, wonderful hair. But, <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, that wasn't enough to distract from, you know. Yeah, and I was really disappointed in Zoe Deschanel. I usually, I oh. loved her in Five Hundred Days of Summer and, yeah. a, and a bunch of other movies, but she, they didn't use her as well as they could have. Yeah, yeah, and I really like her, and I thought she was awful in this movie. Mm -hmm. the, like, her first few scenes, I was like, what is she doing? This is horrible, and they gave her unnecessarily large boobs. Yeah, oh yeah, you know they, they bumped it mm -hmm. up, and they just, yeah. Yeah. So I would say that this is not worth the price of admission. It's, it's definitely, it's not worth $12. Go to McDonald's, buy like four or five Big Macs, and some fries, and then go home. Maybe a Coke. And like, not watch this movie. Mm -hmm. So that's what I had to say.